welcome to Bedpost Product Reviews, the show where we find toys and funny people. <laughs> Today's funny person is comedian and creator Justin George. Hi. And the product for today is so exciting, really. Yeah. <laughs> it is the Snapper 2.0 by Terrible Toy Shop. You're locked and loaded. Oh yeah. Careful where you're putting that thing. <laughs> I want to bring it to the audience. I brought elastics too. Oh my god, my elastics coordinate with you. Yes. <sighs> I'm a big orange fan, but my rainbow elastics, you're getting a lot of life out of them. So. <laughs> Yay, great. Yeah. So, okay, I know I was like trying to think of who could review this for me. I thought of you immediately. I don't know why this, this guy yeah. really just made me think of you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> what did you think when you first saw this? Okay, so my first experience was so my best friend Amanda was on your your podcast last week. Amanda Pereira from yes. Liquid Current Podcast, you mean? I can't say her last name at all, so she gets really mad at her. And she's like, I've known you for like seven years. So you showed her this, and she said she thought the penis went inside it. And then, I don't know if she thought, I don't think she knows what sounding is. But I was like, is it, I wonder if she thinks it's some sort of sounding machine, and just like you pull the trigger and it's going to go like... like Oh my god, that kind of works. <laughs> I mean, um, terrible toy shop. Keep it. Yeah. You know, you, that one's for free. That you can one's have for free. It. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I thought, well, one, it is very cute. Like, I like the, the roundness of it. Like, I like how it looks. The colors it comes in, it comes in a few different colors too than this. Yes. Really cute colors. Um, and then the logo. And if you go on the website, it's really cute branding, branding is too. It's all like terrible toy shop. And it's, yeah. But it's like fun, They're fun. unintimidating yeah. toys, right? Yeah. So you weren't like scared when you saw this? No, 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 no. Oh, I love that. Okay, good. No, me neither. I was just like, oh, this is going to be fun. I mean, I'm probably going to have somebody shoot it at me and I'm going to hate it. But I was still game. I'm like, yeah. I love this like aesthetic, love the colors. Yes. Excited to shoot some elastics at people. Right. Yes. I think if, if you gave me the one with the ball bearing in it, I'd be like, I don't know. Yes. But Good this point. the elastic is like I can do elastic. Yeah, so elastics and then there are also little plastic beads that you can put on it too. Which <laughs> yeah, you I know, know, maybe an intermediate kingster yeah. could do that. Someone has a really good aim too. I'm like, I just don't want to like it in my face. Yeah, just please like... just don't aim here. Yeah, we're not liable for any eyeballs you may yes. shoot out uh, due to the snapper 2.0. Oh, that said, uh, <laughs> when you actually went to use it. So what'd you do? What'd so, you pick? Yeah, so me and my partner like I packed it right away when you gave it to us. Packed it, loaded uh, it, yep. yeah. So it comes in three parts. Yeah. Uh, so it's not too complicated to set up. Like we didn't watch the video, we just kinda were like, we'll figure, figure it, it out, out because we're masculinity. Handy. Yeah. We're handy yeah. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm pulling down my pants and he's shooting me in the ass. But uh, <laughs> no, we we're we're like let's figure it out. So it took yep. a few tries just to figure out like where the elastics go, but pretty like user friendly. Yeah. Um, I I have like a weird thing about 3D printing. Yes. Yeah. Just aesthetic wise, we were kind sure, of sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Like you can tell it's free, 3D, 3D printed. printed. Yeah, you can. And yeah. and for me, I think it's really cool what people can do with it, but like unless it's getting painted or like really sanded down, I'm like, oh, it's. 3D printed and it's like maybe the texture feels weird in my hand. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I, I hear this, you. I have this thing about 3D printing that needs to be like really quite beautiful for me to be like, oh yeah. To get over it. Yes, but yeah. like aesthetically it's still pleasing. Yep. It's just like touching it. I'm like, it's a 3D print gun. I hear you. I hear you. Um, what about um, getting, were you the getting I, Oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, 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 you got it. Yeah, you got it. He's like, give it to me. <laughs> um, so one thing it really taught me is, or a big takeaway from it is we don't, um, we don't usually like during like sex or intercourse like we usually kind of just like it's pretty like vanilla I would say but we do until uh, now, until now. <laughs> um, but we do have a lot of play in our relationship of like he's a he loves to bite Fun. and he loves to um, like I'll put just pull on my pants and he'll just like slap me on the ass and <laughs> and so it kind of like made me the awareness of that like our sexuality each other does it, it's not just like a period where like oh, i'm gonna have sex now it like it's through the entire like day to day it's yeah so, which is really nice and this kind of because we didn't like shoot each other and then he didn't like, rail me like we 
we just shot each other, and played around with it, and like that was really fun for us. Yeah. And, it, and it didn't need to be like we didn't need to be coming all over the place for it to be a fun sexual experience. Does that make sense? Yes, I love that because kink, um, a lot of kink is non-sexual and non-genital based. So yeah. this is a, a toy to perfectly like facilitate an experience that is non-genital based. Yeah. It's like you don't even have to hit a butt. Like no, you he can, did shoot me. There. Yeah. <laughs> we He's did, like did get her butt though, but. Um, something that I learned, I was like trying to think of a comedy couple I could give this to. So I gave this to you because I knew your partner, partner and lived with your partner. And for COVID, I was like, oh, this would be a good thing for you. But then I was like, wait, you can do this distanced. Yeah. So I met up with a friend in oh, a park. Really? Yes, <laughs> and we did a distanced kink scene. We're that. not in the same bubble, but we were six feet away. Yeah. And I was like very did easily shoot, yeah. able to like, like I just hit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so easily. So I was just like, oh, that's fun. Yeah. This is like not only a thing that is non genital based, um, but you can also be distant. Yeah. I'm like, this is a very cool thing, like for what's happening right now. Oh, 100%. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Do you um, think you would like be using this again, integrating yes, it into yes, other types of play, maybe? Yes and no. Um, it does take, so what, the one thing where like, you set it all up. And you shoot it, and it doesn't like. Not every elastic for us was hitting. A couple misfires. Yeah, there's and a learning curve. I feel like with this yes. toy, because when I first started using it, I was having more trouble and being really particular of how I load it. And then once I knew it better, I was able to just shoot sure. it with ease. But I, I think it's what you want to go for. So like, if it's if it's about anticipation, that could that be miss, yeah, that miss elastic. That you're creating, which ruins the illusion. Right. Um, if it's just about the impact, like a ghost size impact, I have little, little marks all over my bum. Um, yeah, I, was hope, marks. I was hoping to do it today because, so, so I could show you, but <laughs> my partner was like busy. He's like, I'm really busy at work, so we couldn't do it today. But I did have marks. I tried to take a picture, but it didn't work out. So yes. I was like, how do I get <laughs> how the do right I... <laughs> lighting? Um, how do I take a picture of my ass? Yeah. So the impact's nice, and <laughs> The mark, the marking's nice if that's part of the thing. Suspense-wise, I it's not great. Like he's not the most consistent. Yes, and then yeah. you, you go through them, and then you have to like kind of load it back up. It's like you know, it's trapped. Yeah, bit. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because you can load eight. Like there yeah. are eight, yeah. but then it takes a while. A while. A little while. Up. And it, once again, like you'll get faster at it, but that is time that you're putting into like reloading. Yeah, you're like, sure. yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, and then he was, he kind of just grabbed elastic. He's like. I could do this all day and just with his hand. <laughs> like, ow, ow. Yeah, the thing where you just do that yeah. on someone's leg. So yeah. it's definitely fun and I definitely we definitely would use it again. Um, I don't think it's gonna be like a full session of like me doing it reloading. Yeah. Dude, I think I like I'll reload it and we'll kinda of play with it, play around with it. Move on to other and things. Move on to something else. Yeah, yes. love it. Yeah, for me my favorite part of using this one. I love marks personally, so like that was a really fun part yeah. of that for me for sure. And then like for the future, um, I, I like this is giving me role play ideas. Yeah. This like it's laser bit, gun yeah. thing. I'm like, oh, we could do a cops and robbers. Cops we could do an alien abduction yeah. thing. It's like, very sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting all sorts of ideas for this. Yeah, no, it's uh, <laughs> it's a fun like yeah, just a prop to have. Like <laughs> it's such a fun pull thing out to and have. Start, yeah. yeah, we can also just like. I, like I want to create a target just in my home and just because like, uh, yeah. it's really very satisfying to just shoot shoot something with this toy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm a sadist. But... Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean that and also that. Yeah. Um... Um, and, love, and we have cats, so like having a elastic bands all over the place, like the cats are so so excited. <laughs> they're, in... they're like there's elastic bands everywhere. <laughs> so it really is a good thing for the whole for the whole family. Yeah. yeah whole, whole family. Yeah. So okay. Terrible toy shop. If you're interested in seeing um, the Snapper 2.0 or any of their other like crazy like, cool the, cookie toys, the lots. ball clamp. I was like, that's interesting. Yeah, a lot of yeah. interesting toys. The designs are really innovative. Mm -hmm. So you can do that um, either on Twitter or on Instagram at Terrible Toy Shop, or you can go to their website terribletoyshop.ca. Justin George. <laughs> If I put a gun to your head, will you tell me where people can follow you on social media? Yes, you may not put the gun towards me. <laughs> um, uh, people can follow me uh, at Dustin George at Instagram, 
or dusted on off fashion um, on Instagram, which is kind of my fashion uh, profile, yeah. I guess. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it right now. Amazing. You can also find me on my couch eating Cheetos. <laughs> Great. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you so much for no joining worries. me, Thanks Justin. For having me. Thank you, Terrible Toy Shop, for providing the toys. And thank you, everyone who's watching. We'll see you next time with another fun toy, uh, reviewing it with another funny comedian. See you next time, everybody. Bye.